Hello! Welcome to NOLA Stamping. I'm Barb Baldwin, and um, I am glad that you've joined me today to make a Halloween card. Um, I really enjoy this uh, new scrapbooking paper from Stampin' Up. It's called uh, Halloween Spells. It's kind of uh, meant for scrapbooking. It It's in fact on the scrapbooking like uh, supplement that they just recently released. Uh, but I think it'll work perfectly uh, to make a card and honestly it doesn't use that much paper So it's perfect for using up um, scraps from scrapbooking So let's go ahead and grab a paper trimmer um, And so there's that paper and I, I really like uh, this stack of books and so like if you cut um, I think it's like uh, if you're cutting the the book stack if you go by the middle asterisk uh, That makes it even on both sides So we're just gonna this is a leftover little stack. So we're just gonna cut a piece um, that is uh, like the the width of the book so that is uh, What um two and three quarters ish and then uh, we'll cut it uh, four and a quarter inch high and then we'll cut the back side and use the um, orange dots on another piece uh, and that is uh, two and a half inches by four and a quarter inch so uh, pretty similar sizes and then we're going to use some of the green uh, granny apple green uh, color and we're gonna need one little dovetail piece. Uh, so um, that's like three quarters of an inch by three inches. And then a square piece that's two and a quarter by two and a quarter. Um, and that'll be a frame for the front. And then grab a sheet of white, uh, cause we're gonna use a, a lot of white on this card um, because it'll pop against the black. So we're gonna cut a piece um, that's two inches by two inches for that um, green frame. And then another piece that's two and three quarters inch by four and a half inches. And then a piece that's four and a quarter by three inches. And then one last piece for the inside of the card um, that's four inches by five and a quarter inches. So whenever you have like a dark cardstock, you're going to want to make sure that you have an interior card panel um, just so then that way the signatures and the little note on the inside uh, work out fine. So speaking of the card base, so this is that two-tone cardstock that Stampin' Up! just started carrying. Um, it uh, has two different um, like tones to the side. So one's like a lighter, uh, a, sort of like a charcoal gray. Uh, and the other is um, just black. So, um, and it's it's called a two-tone black. It's meant for scrapbooking, but um, I think it works really nice on the card because the interior is all dark. Uh, and then we've got the like interior panel, so it's fine that it's dark. And then the front is like that charcoal gray. So it, it looks uh, spooky. So let's get to stamping. So uh, there's a lot of white, so you know there's a lot of stamping. Um, and I'm using the Placeful Ghosts uh, Clean Stamp Set. Um, I usually like the photo polymer stamps better, but um, these ones were super cute. So I went ahead and grabbed them. And um, it's like a Halloween set, so I like that. Um, so we're, so I mounted everything on my acrylic blocks and uh, we're going to be using almost all of the stamps in the set. So on that granny apple green strip, uh, I put a uh, trick or treat uh, and then it was a little uh, off center. So uh, I tried again. Uh, <laughs> and then on the two by two white, I, I put the uh, ghost popping out of the pumpkin. And then for the interior panel, um, just since it's a fun Halloween um, card, I thought it'd be fun to just add like uh, as much as possible. So um, I'm gonna add another ghost up in the corner, um, a little bit of uh, spooky bats, and then I'm gonna pop out the pumpkin pie orange um, ink and use that to uh, stamp some pumpkins and the happy Halloween sentiment uh, that comes with that stamp set 
And so then what we're going to do is a fun little technique that I like. So first we're going to dovetail the uh, granny apple green, uh, uh, just like on one side because the rest of it's going to be covered up. And then, um, I recently got a paper pumpkin kit and it came with a, a gray, uh, stampin' spot and it's just like a smaller one and it just fits in my hands, uh, so much easier. And, um, I like just, uh, dragging it, uh, across the edges of, um, all the like white papers and it gives it sort of like a grunge sort of, uh, distressed kind of feel to the paper. Um, you could use your normal, um, ink pad, uh, to do this. Um, just, it just, uh, works so much, uh, better with the little stampin' spot. So if you've got like a gray one or like a black one or, or something along those lines, like, I think that would work out really great. So then, um, I'm just going to take my, um, right, the stamping right, or what are they called? Um, the little thin markers. Yeah, stampin' right markers. And, um, I'm just using three markers because this is just a quick card for, you know, a friend. I'm trying to uh, get it in the mail pretty quickly, uh, since it is October. So, um, I'm just going to use the pumpkin pie, uh, a green and, uh, the daffodil yellow, uh, to color in the pumpkin. And so then I'm just going to take a journaling pen, uh, to color in the mouth. Uh, and I've got a red one and a black one, so that came out pretty quick and easy. So then the, the, just the patterned paper has a white core on it, so I'm just using like a nail file to distress that, um, orange, uh, bit of, um, the Halloween spells paper, um, just so that it ties in with all the other distressing we've done. You know, Halloween is the perfect time of year to be able to uh, do all of these fun tricks. Um, so now let's go ahead and assemble the card. So I'm just grabbing a tape runner and I'm just going to add some tape on there and uh, pop the interior sentiment panel in. And then um, I'm going to attach everything to the frame that it needs to go on. So um, I'm going to put the books on that white frame that is the perfect size, uh, four and a quarter, um, and then just a quarter inch larger. And then the orange is going on its frame. And then the ghost and the little pumpkin on the green frame. And then we can go ahead and uh, assemble everything together. And um, you want to make sure that the book stack is about a quarter inch from the fold of the card so that it's far enough over. And I like um, that the potion and spells is uh, listed up there at the top. Um, so then that way, like, it just sort of ties everything in together. And then I'm just sort of matching a half inch border on the right in the bottom side for the orange uh, dotted uh, part. And I'm just going to grab some mini Stampin' Dimensionals and I'm putting one on um, like right underneath the dovetail where it says uh, trick and treat. Uh, and then um, I'm going to cover that up with the diamond. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, just grab a little bit of uh, a, a tape runner, put it underneath just to keep it in place, and then use a couple more uh, dimensionals on uh, my little diamond ghost. And um, you just want to make sure that you cover up the the extra trick or treat, uh, like because um, I stamped it twice, uh, but that shouldn't be a problem. If any of it shows, like I could always cut it off. Um, but you want to put down your little focal point. And then I think it's a little bare up in the upper right hand corner. So I'm just going to add a quick dovetail. So I dovetailed like just a little strip of paper that's about a quarter of an inch wide. Uh, and it's like the space in between uh, the books on, um, on one of the other pieces. So it's just a scrap piece that normally I'd throw away but um, you can always use it uh, to add just like little touches. So I always kind of uh, try to save it a little bit. 
So um, I just fold the dovetail in half, and so then you see the back side and then the front side, uh, and it's just a cool little effect. So on to embellishments. Um, I really like these little pearls. They tie in well with the um, Halloween uh, things. They're called uh, Adhesive Backed Pearl Trio. So um, I, I think the purple and the orange really go together re really well with the card. So um, I'm just going to put three on there so that it's a nice little triangle. And that is it. I just wanted to say thank you for making the card along with me, uh, and I hope you uh, were able to make it or make it your own. Um, but uh, whichever you do, uh, don't forget to stay crafty.